Ladies, gentlemen, welcome back. Uh, back with another sleep unit, sleep unit five. Um, it's been a little while, so uh, thought I'd get a get another one out. Uh, and now this one is a unit that has just been buffed. Um, so I'm trying to get a video out so you know people can see the the change and maybe chuck them in their warband, give it a go. Uh, it is helping, obviously, that it's the seal system, so we're only fighting blues. Um, but I'm having a very, I'm having a lot of fun with these guys. So, um, yeah, the cuddle monks. Um, that I never thought we'd be looking at the cuddle monks because they were god awful, but now they're incredible because of a few changes. Um, yeah, so let's have a look at them, uh, and then let's look at some clips afterwards. So here they are. The Cuddly Monks um, was probably one of the worst units out before the buff, and now that they're buffed, they are so much fun to play. They're absolute monsters, and for 160 leadership, really, really worth it. Um, their damage output, especially when they're all stacked in a group, is incredible. It's just AOE from an AOE point of view. Um, I go bottom line on the Vectorancy to get the double hit, but I've also been thinking potentially about going um, top line um, to increase the health recovered, to make them a really tanky unit, just more for AoE. Uh, just, yeah, you get more chance to trigger the healing, and the healing's triggered just by them hitting, so another 10% chance to trigger that. Um, that's incredible, and then you get another, so you'd be healing 1,000 instead of just 500. Um, so potentially top line could be pretty good, but it feels quite hard to lose the extra hit. So, yeah, and the ex yeah. So we'll see. Maybe I'll try it out and see how it goes. But at the moment, we are bottom line. Um, stats are looking pretty good. They got nice eleven thousand health. That's pretty good. Blunt damage, twelve hundred. It's good. Defense pretty low, but for some reason they survive a relatively long time. Um, and then this is obviously <clears throat> the uh, the thing that heals them, so that's why I was thinking top line might actually be pretty good to get a thousand healing when they hit, uh, and see what see how that performs. But we'll stick with with bottom row for now. Um, and then they obviously they get the swarm trait against cavalry that's really nice. Um, they get movement speed, uh, extra defense. It's great. Um, and then. Abilities, Windmill Strike, that is so good. Um, also restores health, I didn't know. Fantastic. Uh, and then your six-way staff, that is your charge, effectively, with a nice little kick and then a spin. That's cool. Um, mine are not max level just yet, only one level to go, so, but we're, you know, obviously we'd only just get one more point in slashing defense, so that's why we're going for it now. Um, so yeah, I've been loving these. Um, they've been so much fun. Keep in mind, obviously, we are in um, the SEAL system, so we're just fighting blue units. Um, but I think, personally, for the leadership 160, I think these are going to stay being quite a like a good addition to your warband, even when we can have the legendary troops again. Um, so, yeah. And then doctrines-wise, running a siege fighter, uh, just a green blunt because I don't have any better. Uh, breakthrough. Um, a slashing defense and the um, doctrine for the monks that you get from a quest. So that's them. So let's have a look at some clips. So I know this is just unit training, but a good way to use monks uh, is to actually almost XV them into the into the group instead of having them on the front line. Push them in, pressure windmill, and you'll get much more effect out of. From, from the killing. Um, so yeah. So here we go, into the first clip. Nice little assist there. And now they're all stacked up around the back of this building, so we're sending the monks in. And as soon as they get that uh, the proc on hit, things just instantly get wiped. And they're also, their hero killing potential is is incredible because suddenly they just burst out of nowhere. Um, that's really, really nice. 
It was kind of unexpected. I really thought they were just going to be AOE, but yeah, you chuck them into a hero, and they uh, yeah they'll do that. They'll do their bit. Um, just trying to charge at these archers now. You can see the lovely boys spinning their sticks. Little kick. The only issue is that when they do do a charge, they can hit one thing and then they all just kick it. They like to your normal charge that would go past. Now, this was a very pleasing moment for me. Um, get a little ult on him, send my guys wild, they'll just give him a little hit and a tap, kill him off, and then he's got a few, uh, I think it's Pike Militia potentially here. I'm not 100 Pike Militia or Demise Pikeman potentially, I'm not 100 no, it's Pike Militia. Um, but yeah, we'll make quick work of those. You can see, like, my uh, my monks procking their, um, their, like, windmill strike sort of looking ability. Uh, and then we get the spear in here, so I'm going to give him a little kick. And he brings his cav round, and then I, I proc the windmill strike, or I click the windmill strike, wipe out his entire cav, take him as well. I was very pleased. And we still have 18 monks. Again, um, and then I think we, we, we're getting a bit low on health here, so I'm just sort of hoping for the best. But um, yeah, we're going to get a heal. I'm going to let the monks have their fate, unfortunately. But uh, that's jab cav for you. But it was a good, uh, it was a good moment. And now just chucking them into a top battle. Unfortunately, I don't know if the monks last that long here because they've got a nice uh, line of guns lined up that are taking them. But the, you can see the AOE damage from these guys is incredible. Although that is the end of them there. Don't deal very well with guns. Um, now just a front gate push, trying to get a, trying to get in from a bit of a different angle um, before the towers get up. So we've got a little group coming in with us. See, we find we've got a bit of resistance as well. So, we'll see what the monks can do here. We've only lost one so far, and uh, see, we're gonna we'll put them in these uh, prefecture guard. We'll let the other guy take their first hit though. Um, and they've come in with the kick. And now, yeah, if you just look at look like the damage they do, it's only like a thousand or whatever at a time. But it it really like the AOE of it is incredible. Uh, and now we're losing a few, but we might have a monk on monk situation potentially. Oh no, no, we're pulling back. Oh, oh, little knockdown. Um, but yeah, the monks are actually a lot better at killing heroes than I than I give them credit for, to be honest. Um, but unfortunately, we are running out of monks. A lot of them are burning, and uh, that will probably spell the end for my monks there. And time to bug out I'd imagine uh, fighting for B here little side charge into the huge kick into a spin still got all the troops left the one thing they're not that great against uh, sort of range they do have a terrible um, terrible piercing defense so it's good to it's good to get put them in situations where they're not going to get shot or um, hit by a lot of jav calves or arrows. Uh, a little hero kill here. There they go. Spin that <laughs> into them and completely blend that guy. A little side push. Um, they don't fare too well against these guys, unfortunately. I think it's just getting a little bit overwhelmed by two units of um, lanch necks that uh, is unfortunate. But we, we make a dent. You know, the kills are just... My kills are rolling up gently, but, um, you know, we, when we get overwhelmed, it's... Uh, Falls a bit short, but we, we killed probably a full stack. We got our we got our uh, leadership trade off. That's the main thing. Um, now they try to flank us a bit here, so yeah, we, we initialize that huge AOE. Push through with my team. They start they start melting that uh, that longsword there, and then obviously these farmers are not going to be too much work for them. Um, trying to trying to get this uh, pole axe. So it doesn't get away. And now just a, a little run down to the supply point, try and push that hard before they uh, get back. We our monks are looking pretty low. We got only 13 left, but I thought I thought of healing them, but actually I think just go straight for the push and see uh, see if we can take the supply point early early after taking A. Dealing with the halberdiers, one of my favourite uh, blue units actually, that absolutely annihilated me. I don't know what I did. I think I pressed the wrong button and sprinted into them instead of instead of uh, ambushing. That's a rookie error. 
Uh, and my monks are they're they're there. They were they were in there, but didn't see what they did. Um, Good job, boys. Good job. Little dual blade at the back there, bringing his troops. Well, no, he's dead. Uh, and now they've got a, a lot of archers sitting out the back. That I think we're going to leave the monks behind for this this little venture. Nice, nice little heal for the monks, and I think we start getting flanked. So, get the monks in, get the spin going, chuck my uh, shurikens at the same time. I don't think they'll fare too well against these boys with the with how many are turning up with the two heroes. But uh, yeah, it's uh, you know added add to the kill count. Bit of monk be monk here. We should. We've got the numbers here. We should come come out on top here but again just you click you click this the um windmill strike and my god the damage is so um so nice uh, also if you just there if you charge uh some pikes or something charging at you um your kick uh means you won't you don't take any damage that's quite nice those lance snakes didn't affect them at all until the um perfection pikes turned up and charged them and then i lost basically half my unit uh and now just a nice push towards A. I think we get wiped out here, but again, their health, they, they they stick around. Their first part of their health sticks around for a long time. So we still got 18 right now. Um, oh no, and then suddenly you'll drop a few, but yeah, it's, um, they are really, really tanky for, for what, for how much leadership you're spending. It's so worthwhile. See a few coconut throwers here. See if we can take them down. And uh, a few archers start the spin. Unfortunately, getting a getting a bit cc'd by the pole axe, and uh, we start going down here. But we we took quite a nice chunk there. Uh, pole axe, rough justice. Me was not pleased. Um, and now sending them down the stairs. Little push into archers. Now they will take a bit of damage here, especially with with archers coming in and down. I think there's perfecture archers at the bottom of the stairs. But again, that AOE damage. Um, is is so so nice um dropping fast now the perfection arches have turned up and, and the jav cav but we should be managed to get down the stairs I'm gonna push myself down and see if i can throw some shurikens at them push them back a bit but i think that almost spells the end for my uh for my monks my little cuddly monks but yeah i've been having such a good time with them i re really recommend trying them they are a lot of fun and um and obviously cheap, so it's not the end of the world if uh, if you lose them. So a nice little hero slap here. Just the the mad amounts of damage these guys can all put out when they slap you with a stick is amazing. Um, and now a bit of monk v monk coming into the end here. Just trying to uh, trying to stay alive, get my shuriken on their monks, but it's a pretty even fight. Nadachi, well, Nadachi goes must not even a fight, even fight because we've got, got friends with me. But here he gets, he gets his own back. A little slap from that monk there, got me. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed. Um, only been playing the upgraded monks for well, what two days of the season of the new season. But yeah, been absolutely loving it. So I really recommend you giving them a go. Um, they will perform so much better than you think they would um so yeah um thank you for watching and i will see you in the next one thanks guys